I know it's probably not great that there was a weekend in between here, but uh, hopefully you're hopefully you're familiar enough. Yeah, well, I don't mean from that point of view, but in terms of uh, learning and thinking about this concept, uh, hopefully you're okay uh, enough with this definition here of the slope of the tangent line, or the slope of the derivative here. Okay, or the derivative is the the derivative we're coming up with here is an expression for the slope of the tangent line. The difference here is we're we're coming up with a different function, not a not a number, right? When we did this before, we worked through and we had a specific value for x here, and we ended up with a a value at the end for the slope at a specific point. This is the slope. This is an expression. It's another function called the derivative that is this gives the slope of that thing anywhere. Um, so if, if we look at this on a on a graph just for the values here, what was the original function x cubed? Okay, you can graph it on your calculator. I'll graph it on this because it'll be a little easier to change it, but Okay, there's a function, and then this is going to be the the derivative. Now, if you put a point somewhere on this curve, uh, what can we do here? No, we can do this. Let's pause this. T okay, as you move this. As you change this value here, okay, the slope of this line right here, so you can see it a little bit here. Do it to 13. <laughs> it won't be much of a line anymore. Um, the slope of that tangent line is this value here, right? 1.45. Anywhere on this other function, okay, what do you notice is true about the values there? Slope of the tangent line is 2.85. This function gives that value, right? At This is the original, this is a point on the original function, this is a point on the derivative. This value here, this y value, the y value of this is the slope of this. That's why this function gives you the slope. If you want to know the slope of this curve, you just take 3 times the x value squared and it'll give you this value, right? Okay. The derivative is the slope of that tangent line. You can graph the derivative like this, and later we'll talk about the slope of the derivative, which is going to be the second derivative, Okay, the slope of the function that gives the slope. Okay, but for now, you need to know that the that the slope of the tangent line is the derivative. There's lots of different notations for that. If we want the slope at any given point now, if you want the slope at something here, slope at x equals, I don't know, 5, it's 3 times 5 squared, 75. If you want the slope at any particular value, it's going to give you that. If you want the slope at 0, we know the slope at 0, right? If you look back at the graph, what's the slope at 0? It's 0, right? It's horizontal here. At 0, the slope 0. That's why this function is 0. As you go to the right here, the slope's becoming more positive. The y values here are becoming more positive. Even though the function goes negative on this side, the slope is still more and more positive as you go to the left. That's why this is going back up again. The lowest the slope is ever here, whoops, I guess we don't want that, eh? The the lowest the slope ever goes here. I can't get a hold of that point over here. Oh, because I got to use this one. That's why. Um, the lowest the slope is over here is zero, right there. Okay, it's a positive number. That's why that point C is way up there. Goes to zero, and it goes positive again here. Um, notation for the derivative. You. Uh, probably wrote some different things down here, and maybe you saw it in that video that we watched. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, if you have some function y equals f of x. What different things did you find when you, you looked for some in the textbook, I think, right? What did you find? What different types of notation ways to write to abbreviate the derivative? You saw D, Y, DX, didn't you? Did you see that? What else did you see? You saw Y prime. You saw f of x. <clears throat> what else? D, D, X. I'm getting them all. I guess this should go over here. Well, if I remember correctly, because I always seem to get this backwards, but yeah. except I also can't spell here. That's Newton, and this is now asked me to spell this Leibniz. There's another what? Um, this prime notation, f prime of x. I mean, if you're saying this, f prime of x or y prime. The little uh, tick mark here, which you just say prime, is saying the derivative of that. Each of them has their advantages. This one kind of comes from the slope formula. The slope formula is the difference in the y values, right? y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. Or in other words, you might see delta y, delta x. So this dy, dx just comes from dy represents this if you kind of push the two points infinitely close together the differential this is called the differential in y we're going to talk about differentials eventually but and then this is of course differential in x you don't really look at these separately we're going to look at this as one thing here, the slope of the tangent line. It does look like a fraction like that. And eventually we're going to look at them as though you can separate them. But right now we're going to look at it as a single thing. This is the slope of the tangent line. Uh, d dx, and then you could put f of x beside it. Right? You could say, you can say if you have x to the third here, right? You can say, I want the derivative of this, d dx of that function. Some people write this, although this is a bit goofy that with a little tick mark outside um, you can say you could I mean this you can say I'm looking for y prime or if it's f of x equals that x cubed you want f prime or f prime of x you'll you'll get used to both types of notation I think as we go here um, I was gonna give you this or use this alternate definition here I think that's where we stopped talking about this last time. So maybe we should stop and...